What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So you're actually going to be talking about Joker in this video here here today joker 2 so we recently got confirmation that the sequel would actually be going forward there is a script that confirmed the sequel or a picture of the script got shown to confirm the sequel and we got a glimpse of seeing uh joaquin phoenix actually going over the script to confirm his return to reprise the role i guess of joker arthur fleck and we know that todd phillips is going to be directing it once again i guess now it is also well i'll say he's pinning it along with the same person who helped pin the original movie scott silver so this has got everyone chattering because now it's confirmed that we are going to of course have a joker sequel and we can expect it to probably deal with one or two or a few things going off of this working title if it is indeed just a working title so with what's been released the title of this movie joker 2 is joker folly ardor folly folly ardor is the title of joker 2 i guess so the thing that everyone else has been going crazy about that i didn't even realize was that apparently joaquin has never done a sequel to original titles that he starred in i guess now you can correct me if i'm wrong there uh but the subtitle again has led to some people speculating a lot of things and the two prominent ones so far have been that they're going to introduce either harley quinn and the other being that there's going to be two jokers being introduced or multiple things in introduced that lead to people becoming joker kind of to give off the impression that joker doesn't just have one origin story if what joaquin's character end up doing inspired other insane individuals in this universe so two translations for the subtitles came to be shared as shared madness and then the other translation i saw someone come up with was madness for two now the madness for two then sparked resurfacing of a pitch Willem Dafoe made earlier this year during an interview where he said there is something interesting about like if there was a Joker imposter. So it would be possible to have not dueling Jokers, but someone that claims to be the Joker that isn't the Joker. And then he said, and, I, and that kind of opens up the possibility of an interesting story, particularly if you had Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and then you had someone who was either intimidating or riffing off what he did. I fantasized about that, but other than that, I'm not talking to anybody. You're the first one. Now, I do have to say this. Those comments and now having this working title out here like that makes me think that maybe yes, there's a chance he was dropping hints there and that there actually have been working on a pitch like that this whole time and Willem Dafoe will star in the movie as some type of Joker imposter. It's possible. I'm not against that. I'm also not against them introducing Harley Quinn. I'm also not against us exploring a different Batman villain in this universe and kind of giving this, making this be someone that uh, Arthur arthur's joker has to contend with and you know maybe seeing them team up or go against each other in some fashion because the original movie from 2019 was one of my favorites from the year as again a batman fan i was more than thrilled to have a joker centric movie and then like many people going into that i was constantly thinking about heath ledger's performance from the dark knight but when sitting down watching the movie i slowly just re realized and let go of that because phoenix didn't need to be heat he just needed to be his own unique version of this character and make it just sadistic just like heath ledger made it sadistic and he more than accomplished that here in this role it was a very unique spin on the character and he he was amazing in the role as joker and i definitely wanted to see more of it i know originally coming out of that movie people wanted a sequel but there were reports coming out from people involved that say that they never intended it to be starting up any type of series now that's of course the intent a lot of people have going into their movies they they at least will picture it as a one and done but in their minds they know how the business works they know that this is a business still creatively you want to do it as a one and done but when these higher ups see that they can make money again they're going to make money and now we're here and we're probably going to get something that's very incredible i hope it manages to surpass the original movie i always love when a movie sequel can do that just like how top gun maverick recently surpassed the original top gun so i'm not against seeing either one of those two scenarios play out the ending of that movie, though, is still one of the most amazing finales I've seen in the, in recent memory. Because I know that there's a specific gunshot. For those of you who've seen the movie, don't want to go into too many spoilers. That one specific scene with the gunshot, you know, we live in a society, all that. That that was just something that still sticks with me to this day. Everything in that movie, in that final sequence, just felt like a boiling point to kind of just expose all the insanity going on within Arthur himself. 
and then now how he's gonna then bring it all to the to the uh to the world in response to that by how the world has mistreated him so i'm interested to see where this sequel goes but ex exploring a shared delusion to me would fall more in line with the character of joker since we see glimpses of reality being questioned in the 2019 film i haven't watched that movie recently but there yes are things in that movie i recall that definitely dealt with us clearly seeing that he doesn't fully have a grasp on reality so they could explore that a little bit more by doing the imposter joker scenario if that's what this is actually going to end up being but again i'm not against harley quinn coming in or again, what you could have is someone that's just another villain introduced for Joaquin to play against and someone who is just equally insane. Those of you who have seen the Joker, I would love to know what your thoughts were on that movie down in the comment section below. At that time, I wasn't really covering too many other topics on my channel, but I think going into this, since this is a movie I'm excited about, I will cover many updates on Joker 2. If you want to send them my way, I will make videos on them and we will talk about Joker 2 until it is released because that movie, like I said before, between that movie and It Chapter 2, this movie, the original Joker was, yes, better than It Chapter 2, but that was just a very fun year for me with those two movies back to back like that. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what ultimately ends up being with this Folly Ardor subtitle if it ends up even being more than just a working title we'll see what happens it's nice to know that the movie is indeed now confirmed and it will be coming to us one way or another in the near future there is no of course release date at this point we don't know who's starring in it there and again there's really no other official things confirmed other than that we know it's happening everything that's been talked about in this video has just been from fans that have gone out of their way to notice what this translates into and then say oh does this mean they're going to do this does this mean they're going to do that that's the only place we're at right now so we'll see what happens and we'll see who ends up joining Joaquin Phoenix back into this universe. Uh, I know some people would like to see Bruce Wayne return again. I think Bruce Wayne literally was like a child in the first one. So I don't see why he needs to be present in, in this one. It really doesn't serve any purpose to me, I guess, at this point, given how young he was in the original. But we'll see. Joker 2 is confirmed. Subtitle has a lot of people talking. What do you guys think about this down in the comment section below? What do you want to see from Joker 2? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post occasion. Never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.